Welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen and today we're going to make my recipe for 12 Urban Spices Southern Fried Wings. So what you see on my counter is what we're going to use to make this. This is not a hard thing to do but there are a lot of spices and herbs mixed in here and you know you're going to have to collect all these together. The Colonel might have 11 but I have 12 and I don't know some days I think mine tastes a lot better and it's surely a lot cheaper to get because I have healthy wings here which we're gonna make and they're no way small like what you would get if you went to the Colonel so we're gonna do this here it's not gonna be hard if you follow the directions you can stick with me and the whole thing we're gonna start out with a cup of water which we're gonna add two eggs to usually I use buttermilk and egg but we're doing water in this one because I learned this from somebody and I'm all about learning something new and I'm doing it this way so get the two eggs in there and we're gonna whisk this up until it gets really frothy just to make sure that it's completely mixed together break those yolks before you get going and just mix it completely through and you'll notice the water will turn really yellowish and then once it starts to froth up you know you've got this right and you'll be ready to use this to actually do your chicken so on a platter we're gonna put a one and a fourth of a cup of flour onto it just mix it out there really evenly and then after that we're going to add a fourth of a cup of cornstarch to this once we get this on here we want to mix it together before we add any of the spices just for the fact that we want that cornstarch all the way through the flour so take a whisk whatever you have just mix it around to make sure that you get a good chance of this mixing through before we add anything else to this and then we are going to add all 12 of these spices and when we go to add them I'm just gonna go through the list and I'm gonna bring them in about three at a time but I'm just gonna go ahead and read the list here as we go so we have two teaspoons of paprika one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of cayenne pepper pour that over top then we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of thyme and then mix that over top of it then up next we have one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of chili powder, and one teaspoon of generic chicken seasoning. And this is kind of just a little MSG going in it with the chicken seasoning, but if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. And then after that, one teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of oregano. And then we're going to pour this over top as well. And then we're going to like totally mix this together. So use your whisk or whatever you want to use and just try to distribute this throughout the flour. And it doesn't have to be perfect because as we're rolling the chicken wings in this, the flour is going to move around. And so are the seasonings anyway. But just go ahead and do the best you can to actually get them completely mixed through. Now I know some people are saying, well, why don't you just put it in a bag and do it? Because I don't want to because this works better for me because I like to see how much breading is going on this. So you're gonna dip your wings into the egg and water, bring them over to the flour and seasoning, get it coated, go back to the egg and water again, then bring it back to the flour and seasoning. And this way, we're gonna get a really good coating on this and we're gonna make sure that we have a lot of the flour and seasoning on the outside because we want the flavor, but we want this to be crispy and have a lot of breading on the outside. So we're gonna go through each one of these and do the same thing hit the egg and water hit the flour hit the egg and water hit the flour and that way we're going to work it through now mind you i'm doing like six chicken wings you could do more than that with this mix there's actually here plenty to do several more however this is all i needed for the time i'm doing it so go ahead and just work your way through all of these now keep in mind by the time we get all of these breaded we're going to need a large skillet and a decent amount of oil because in that skillet you're going to want to put about an inch and a half of oil in it at least so that way these things can sit down in that oil a bit so you want to make sure you have these things ready by the time we get completely done because we want to get the oil into the pan just immediately after this and get it warming up so go ahead and work your way through all of these make sure they're really breaded I just like to go through each one of these chicken wings to make sure that like you know where they're folded and everything that the flour gets up in there I don't like you know parts of it not being coated because you're getting a lot of flavor from all that seasoning but it's nice to have it breaded properly um, you know I've been places before where they're skimpy on the breading I don't really care for that so we're just gonna go ahead and work our way through all of these and as you can see this is easy it's really not a hard process the most thing you got to worry about in this is paying attention like getting the breading right or getting the oil hot enough or making sure they cook well and get flipped when they should be flipped in the oil just to make sure they're cooked properly 
But otherwise, there's no reason why you can't actually save a lot of money instead of going out and buying this at a restaurant for just making it at home. Because seriously, you can actually find a sale on chicken wings, because here recently I've noticed the price has come down quite a lot. And you could get enough chicken wings to do this maybe like three times or whatever what I'm doing. And I only paid, I think, $11 for my wings. So it's really not a bad deal to do this at home because basically you could get like three meals out of this if you're just like a person eating it or maybe two. So point being is sometimes it's better to do it at home because it does taste a lot better. So this is what mine looks like all breaded up, ready to go. So I'm going to get ready for my skillet. Now, one thing you need to remember when you get your skillet and you're putting that oil in, you're going to want to let that oil get hot before we do anything else. So get your skillet on the stove like I have here. I'm going to put in at least an inch and a half of oil in this. The whole ideal thing is to get the temperature in this pan up to at least 350 degrees before we go ahead and use it because we want it hot. And if it takes 10 minutes, let it do its thing. If you have to check with a the thermometer, do it just it's better to have it hot when the wings go in because when you drop the wings in you want to see it sizzle and you want to know that it's actually cooking and as you can see with mine it is now a large skillet like this um you could put six wings in here easily it's not a problem you just need to make sure they're not overlapping each other so work your way in move them around the sides until you get them just right to where they've got room to cook and the oil's got room to move around them and once we get them in here, these are going to cook for probably up to 10 minutes. What you want to do is after about five minutes is flip them. And that way you can flip and cook on the other side. We just want to make sure they both sides get really golden brown. But we want to really watch these. Make sure we're not burning them or anything. Make sure you don't go over the five minutes before you flip them. And then when they're ready to be turned, just take some tongs and flip them over. And as you can see, this breading stuck really well to this. It did a really great job. And that's what we want to see. And we want to get this golden brown. And we're going to cook it all the way through. Now, when these are done and you're getting ready to take these out, a lot of people would just pull these out and throw them on a like a plate with like paper towel on or something like that. No. Put it onto a wire rack over top of a baking sheet so the oil can drip out of these. Because what is the point of taking them out of the oil and sitting them down on a paper towel and letting them get soggy when you want crispy chicken wings, you know? So if you put them on that rack, it's going to drip. So I say when they're done, as mine are here, pick them up and let the oil drip out for, you know, about 20 seconds or something before you move it to the rack to cool. That way you've even got rid of some of the oil right here. Um, and just go ahead and do this for each one because as you pick it up, you're going to see that oil dripping out of it. That's good. We want it out of there. We don't want these to be soggy or greasy. And just go ahead and do this for each one of them. And then once you've had them drip over that wire rack for just a couple minutes, you're ready to serve. You can put these with whatever you want to. If you wanted to serve them with fries or whatever you wanted to have with them, you're ready to go. The best thing is these have killer taste and they just are wonderful to eat. But you make them at home and they cost so much less than going to a restaurant. So why not fix it yourself and actually have much better, much bigger wings, but have a great taste at home. And it's way better than going and paying all the prices like at KFC or something, which are totally outrageous. And this is what mine looked like on a plate. And I got to tell you, these were amazing. So if you want to, I say give this a try. You won't regret it. I hope you liked this video and if you did please like and subscribe and if you get a chance check out the Southern Mountain Kitchen website where you can get a free recipe, check out the cookbooks available from the Southern Mountain Kitchen and if you'd like to you could order a cookbook at a discounted price cheaper than Amazon with shipping that is also cheaper than Amazon. So if you get a chance check it out and I hope you have a great day.